and uh, Adam Lalana being perhaps the next one on that, who could be the next one on that list, we could say, well, you know, unless you're going to pay us the full amount that we want for this boy, that's going to make us invest in the future with other young players and maybe pr produce one, two more out of the youth team and protect ourselves, then. Um, then uh, we can do that. And, does, um, just, if I can just put in there for a second, does that mirror what happened at Leeds United? M what's happened at Southampton, more or less? Um, I, when, I, when I got the sack from Leeds United, Chris, I honestly, I'd never been to a board meeting. I, I, it was a system that totally uh, I, I liked of you get on with the team. They never interfered with it, they never bought anybody that I didn't want. They'd re ask you a recommendation, like say, i.e. Rio Ferdinand. I said Rio Ferdinand. If they'd have come back to me and said 18 million, I'd, I wouldn't have taken it. I'd have bottled that. But they bought it, and it's down to them that they deserve what they got from 32 million they turned it into. So that's the way it, it kind of worked. When, when I got the sack from Leeds United, I, I, I was told you'd established them now in the top five, but we need somebody to take us to the next level in the roundabout way. So I left there thinking, um, you know, there was no financial. I was never aware of any financial problem there. And I don't know what Alan does. It was the same on, you'd nominate a player with a Rio Ferdinand or a Robbie Feller or whoever came to the club. You were never in there sitting there giving the contract there. I, think or what when, they were there. I remember chatting to you once and you were yeah. saying about Robbie Fowler. Even you were surprised they were prepared to pay. Was it 11 million yeah. at the time? Yeah, and even on that, um, as I say, you, ne you played no part in the contract. You, you, I never sat in on anything to say what a player should be given. You wonder now whether you'd like to sit in, and I don't know what Alan's view is on that, because sometimes I, I was rang after I left and asked about a certain player, and I'd given an opinion. The great Bobby Robson um, rang me on a few players who I said that he asked me about Woodgate uh, particularly, and uh, you know I was raving about him. I just said the only problem Bobby is he always had a run of he gets injuries, which mm -hmm. we could never pinpoint down. But when the lad is playing, he's an intelligent quality centre send a half. Um, Basically so what I'm getting at, how does a club like Southampton and Leeds end up in a situation like they are where they've got to sell, it's a fire, fire. sale and, and they've got to try and survive? I, I, I think the thing that worked against, if, if the list there you showed, um, I thought all those players there that were sold, um, Southampton got top dollar for them. I think some of the players after the panic at Leeds, what they went for, for what they were worth. Harry Kill. You know, it was... <laughs> That was um, that's what went against Leeds United, big style. Um, mm -hmm. Compared to, I think Southampton got what the play. Like you look at Bale there for ten million, a lot of money. I was looking forward to seeing that lad. I thought that lad would do a lot better than what well, he has. That's an example of what we were saying about yeah. earlier. Somebody who didn't break in and he's out on loan now, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. You know, I think um, and there was high expectations after absolutely. him, wasn't it? And what yeah, I'd yeah. seen of him early days, even with Wales, I thought, yeah, that's a that's a player that's going to yeah. be top class and he, and he probably will come again but you know is again that move was it perhaps too early the problem you have is that you know when you come out the premiership then you, all clubs are under pressure especially the bigger clubs who have mm -hmm. come out the uh, uh, out of the premiership and even at West Ham we sold some uh, some great we had to sell Michael Carrick for example it's the wages as well isn't yeah, it yes the wages yeah. it's massive and it's the, the the jump is so big it's it's really really damaging you see, you and, see about um, Newcastle you know that they, apart from coming out, you, you're reading and hearing about them. That they never even had in the players' contracts to, you know, if they went down, the salaries get reduced. So that, that's another bigger because thing. Because it's unthinkable, though, isn't it? If you know what I mean. When you're an established yeah. Premier League club, it's unthinkable to yeah. think that we're gonna you're gonna drop yeah. out of it. Into Definitely. The, the and, and then when you do drop out of it, I, I was just saying to Alan before he came on, people who are going to Southampton, they got this lovely ground, good atmosphere. It's, it's like. The, it's like uh, the cup final on the it's day. The big day. The, so it's a big day for them now to go into a lovely stadium, probably mm -hmm. the best stadium in the division in general. And you, you get that sense with you know Leeds United, who are going to be the dominant team in that division and, and should go up, uh, what I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, that people are going to them, big crowd on the day, and everybody's it's raising good. their... The game, so you've got to go out in every game for you. Leeds have got to be, you know, to win that league, Leeds have got to be so much better than everybody else. Yeah. Because of that factor. Yeah. yeah. And everybody I would say, you know, I think himself. when he, Al gets going to set happen, it's going to be, it's going to be the same situation. Well, you mentioned uh, nice stadiums, and uh, certainly in this next feature, we've got a team with a nice.